Hey everybody, thanks for joining us out here again today for another episode of the VSO Gun Channel. Range finders. I've gotten to play with a lot of range finders over the course of my career in the firearms industry. Uh, some of them were very good, some of them not so good. Uh, but the one that we're going to look at here today, I believe holds the most potential of all the ones that we've looked at before. And uh, this product is the Laser Ballistics 1000 by ATN. You guys have seen the reviews that we've done on a lot of ATN's products in the past. Um, some of them good, some of them not so good. But uh, this is their laser rangefinder, and it has a lot of extra functionality, as we come to expect from ATN. They pack a bunch of widgets into their, uh, into their products. Uh, this one has a lot of functionality that other rangefinders just don't have and uh, that's what we're gonna be looking at here today. Now, what I've brought out here today is some other range finders that I just kinda have laying around, uh, and we're gonna test this thing stacking up against it. So, um, I've got this like just junky Bushnell that I've had since like I was in like fifth grade. Um, we'll try that one. And then what I consider to be the top of the line uh, range finder is the Monarch 7 IVR. We have full video on this guy as well. This is the one with the camera stabilization technology in it so like you can literally hold it there and it's solid as a rock because just like cameras do they have floating lenses and stuff this digitally corrects uh, the image that you're seeing so very very cool uh, rangefinder full video on that one as well. Uh, so we're just going to start off I'm going to take some measurements uh, at the berm we're back here at the 400 ish mark I have a target uh, above the berm and we'll just start out with the bush now and see what it gives us uh, a reading as. And uh, maybe. All right, so we've been at this one for a minute and I, I can't even get it to give me a reading at this distance. So um, there you go on that one. <laughs> um, the IVR, I'm confident this one, will, this one will get us something here. Oh, that is so nice, it's so rock solid. I get my target at 420, 429 yards. That is not angularly corrected. 429 yards. Okay. The Laser Ballistics 1000. Here we go. Eyepiece is a little. There we go. 431. 430, 431. So the ATN is in the ballpark, about three yards of deviation from the uh, Monarch 7 IVR here. Now remember, this one is stabilized, and this one is literally freehand. So. Um, there could be some user error there, not so sure, but we're going to test to determine uh, how accurate it is. That kind of deviation shouldn't matter for this particular test. We're only about, you know, 400-ish yards. So, um, and I do apologize on this guy, one, guys. I don't know what happened here. But first cool thing that we're going to look at here on the ATN, and I will roll all this in so that you guys can see it. Uh, it's really bright out here today, so you probably wouldn't be able to see the screen anyway, but I'll get screenshots and, and show it to you guys. There's an app that you can download that pairs with this optic. Select your caliber. I've already set this one up, so I'll roll this on screen. We're gonna be shooting 223 Remington today. Uh, we're shooting Fiocchi ammunition. Uh, they were nice enough to send us a load of ammunition for this uh, video. So I've got this all set up, apply, and put in our, I've already got all the uh, elemental data and everything. And then once we get to this screen, we're going to go ahead and take our laser range finder. See if I can do this. i got too many things in my hands here. We're going to laze the target. We got 428 that time. Hit accept. And this thing tells us how many clicks on this scope to adjust. So this is telling me 32 clicks up on our scope. 
and we'll just we'll keep that as is. I'm going to shoot it from zero just to confirm that that we do in fact miss at this distance with this uh, 556 carbine here. We are hot. Here we go. Shooting with zero. Saw that one impact the berm low. All right, we're shooting low as expected. So, what we're going to do is go ahead and go up 32 clicks one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so now that we've made our ballistic correction, get a good solid stance here. And here we go. We're going to see if we can't put some rounds on that steel. It's a little dusty here, blowing all kinds of stuff all over the place. So the Laser Ballistics 1000 and the app got us on target at 430-ish yards. Uh, if I'm honest, uh, I didn't think that was going to work. I mean, the concept's you know pretty uniform across the board, but uh, I guessed at my my BC. I don't have the the BC for the Fiocchi. Um, this is the you know, I just started shooting their ammo a few weeks ago, uh, so I don't know uh, what the BC for that is, so I just kind of guessed at it. Uh, and 223 BAC varies everything from everything that I saw was everything from uh, 0.202 to 0.27. So, I mean, I kind of guessed right in the center, and we, we made some hits, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, it works. It, it that app does a does a good job. It's a pretty decent ballistics calculator. All right, enough of this. I'm gonna go get some other equipment to mount on top of this gun, and we'll be right back because I got something that's even cooler to show you guys. Okie dokie. So as you can see, we've definitely switched around the kit a little bit. I've affixed a silencer to the end of this thing. And actually, I don't know if at this point in time I'm allowed to talk about the silencer. So if I am, uh, it'll be on screen. If uh, not, then forget I even mentioned it. We've also attached the X site uh, too. You've seen a review on this particular site from ATN before. Uh, I'll have a link in the description for that. I'm gonna go ahead and power this thing up right now. But the reason this thing is on here is because this laser rangefinder can talk to this site and it can do a ballistic correction based on the data that you put into this into the site for your load data use the data from this to do a ballistic correction for you for your elevation so let's see if we're up and we are up go ahead adjust my focus here so that we're all good and I'm going to be filming through the X site today so you guys can see what I'm looking at and we're gonna start out just as is, shooting with no ballistic correction, and uh, we'll see how we do. Here we go. All right, so we're clearly shooting low. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn on the ballistic calc on this thing and I'm going to try and film through the site to see if we can see the reticle jump on this thing because it literally does when 
uh, when it makes a correction. All right, let's see if she worked. It looks like the reticle has moved on screen. So I'm not sure if that was captured or not. Here we go. Hmm, that's odd. Yeah, so my bad guys, uh, user error. I forgot to put in the correct velocity in the uh, X site here. I had it set up for a 308 and I was running through the settings really fast and I forgot to put in the correct velocity. So we were shooting way over that target because uh, I had the velocity input as like 2,600 feet per second, which is completely wrong. So here we go, we're gonna try this again with the correct velocity. There it is. There it is. All right, so that's a, a little bit better now that we've got the correct velocity in there. Um, the laser rangefinder was able to pair with the Excite and get us on target, uh, at least reasonably on target. Um, there's a fair amount of wind today. Uh, it's gusting. Um, it actually happens to be like nice and calm right this second, but um, we've got a little bit of a storm rolling in over there that'll be here very shortly. and. Uh, this thing will not do the windage correction for you. Um, to my knowledge, nothing does the windage correction for you. Uh, that's something that the shooter has to know how to do. Uh, but it did do the elevation correction for us, at least reasonably close. And um, I think, again, this is not a military grade piece of hardware by any means, but I think what it does is demonstrate the technology and the advancement of technology and where we're headed. So. Um, to that effect, there are lots of modes inside this thing that um, it does an angular correction and it has a fog mode uh, that uh, is supposed to cut through fog and it has the uh, supposed ability to track the uh, speed of a target if it's moving for toward or away from you, uh, not side to side or anything. Um, I've not tested any of those modes, this is literally uh, just me throwing this stuff together and, and running out here and trying it out. Uh, ATN asked me to field test it for them. So that's, uh, that's what we're doing. Um, now, the one thing I will say that I think of this thing in terms of laser rangefinder in general is concerned is a lot of times you will laze for a long period of time then you finally get a return answer on some of your like marginal quality uh, to mid-grade uh, laser rangefinders. Uh, this thing is fast. I mean, it's just as fast as my Nikon uh, IVR in the truck. So, I mean, uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with its speed and its accuracy as far as this uh, as far as its use as a laser rangefinder is concerned. Well, if you guys found this uh, video interesting and informative, please hit that like button down below. If you think we earned your subscription here today, please hit that subscribe button. Share it around. Maybe your friends enjoy it too. Thanks for watching the VSA Gun Channel, and we'll see you guys on a future video. I'm gonna go get some more ammo.